Alright guys, what is going on? We have just... <laughs> I don't even know how to start this. So it's been about, like, I don't know, like 10 minutes or so, a little bit over 10 minutes since the direct ended. It was about 35 so minutes. Um, now we knew that Splatoon 2 and ARMS were going to be the main things talked about. And we knew there'd be some other stuff for 3S and Switch, but I didn't expect so much stuff. And what we got was amazing. I had to, I had typed everything out. I got it here, um, and I'm just, I'm gonna go over everything. I'm gonna try to do this as quick as I can and say my thoughts on a lot of stuff. So they opened with, and this is something I said I didn't think was gonna happen. I was wrong. Opened with the new Pikmin for 3DS, which is now called Hey Pikmin. I like that title. It's, it's kind of cute. It reminds me of Hey You Pikachu. <laughs> but um, comes out July 28th. And it looks good. It looks really good. I'm pretty sure people are still going to be like, oh, it's not Pikmin at the, uh, it lo looks like crap at the Scythe Scroller. You know, it, it looks good. I'm going to be buying it. There's also a Pikmin Amiibo figure comes out the same day, July 28th. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Um, it looks amazing. Ever Oasis. This I said I think we would see, and I wanted them. I wanted them to show it. We got to see more of it, and June 23rd. So it comes out June 23rd. That's amazing. I didn't think it'd be this summer. I figured Ever Oasis would be a winter title. That's honestly what I was expecting. But it looks so good. It looks so good. Um, now, some other stuff that was announced for the West. Monster Hunter Stories. Yes. Yes. I was like, I was like, yes, when I saw it. Oh, they announced it for the West finally. It's coming out this fall. They did not announce the Amiibo for it yet, but I'm pretty sure those aren't too far behind. Even if they don't announce them, you can get them on Amazon for like 15 bucks a piece or whatever. You know, they're not not that expensive, but um, I, I'm excited. I knew sooner or later we were going to get it because when it comes to Monster Hunter, we're usually a year behind Japan. Monster Hunter Stories was uh, Japan's Monster Hunter game last year. Um, last year we got Monster Hunter Generations, which in Japan is Monster Hunter X. Um, and they got that in 2015, whereas we got it in 2016, well, they got Monster Hunter Stories. Well, now we're getting Monster Hunter Stories a year later, and right now, Japan's Monster Hunter game is Monster Hunter Double X or Double Cross, whatever you want to call it, which I guarantee you we'll get that next year. So it, that's just what it seems to be going on. You know, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, same thing. We got it the, a year after Japan did, so it just seems to be the pattern with Monster Hunter. Japan gets a game a year or every every year, every other year, and then you, we usually get it the following year. So I knew Monster Hunter Stories was coming at some point. Like I, I just I just knew it would. I was just I was wondering when. I didn't expect it to be announced in this direct, but it was, and it's amazing. So I'm definitely gonna be getting it. Um, it looks a lot easier to get into than a regular Monster Hunter game. Uh, more more RP more Japanese RPG ish. So it, it looks really fun. I've been holding on it for a while. So yeah. Um, Yokai Watch 2 Psychic Specters also announced for the West available this fall. This is the third version of Yokai Watch 2. Yokai Watch 2 came out last year in North America, and that is there was two versions, kind of like Pokemon. There was a uh, bony, it was, it was bony spirits and fleshy souls, I believe they were. And Yokai Watch 2 Psychic Specters is a third version, kind of like how in Pokemon you have, you know, crystal to gold and silver or emerald to de uh, to um, ruby and sapphire. You know, third enhanced version that's pretty much what this is so i'm definitely gonna be getting that it looks good um i mean it's it's more yokai watch i love yokai watch you know um cold set revolt and rpg maker fez they talked about those we already knew about those but we did get dates on them i'm not sure if we had dates before cold set revolt uh comes out august 29th definitely be getting that rpg maker fez comes out june 27th i won't be getting rpg maker fez just because it's not really my kind of game but it's cool nonetheless um and i like how they spaced them out so um, we already knew RPG Maker Fez had a limited edition available, but now Cold Set Revolt has a limited edition available, which we didn't know that before. At least I don't think so. I hadn't heard of it. I know when they first announced them, there was no limited edition announced for Cold Set Revolt. So I don't know if it, I don't know if this is the first time we're hearing about it or what. But it's the first time I've heard about it, and I'm excited. So d depending on what the limited edition is and how much it costs, I may get it. But either way, I'm getting Cold Set Revolt. Cannot wait. Metopia. Metopia is announced for the West. I haven't really talked about this game, but this is a game that I've been wanting for a long time ever since it got announced for japan last year i think it was last year it came out yeah it was late last year um it's a me game and I, I love the me's i've always loved the me's ever since the days of the week and i've been hoping this game comes to the west i know it didn't sell too well in japan i don't i don't think it sold too well and the reviews were kind of mixed 
but um, I was I, it looked fun. Um, it's got so much different stuff. It's got Japanese RPG stuff in it, and so much there's so much stuff, and it's it's a very quirky me game, you know. Um, I can see myself getting into this a lot more than I did with Tomodachi Life. I know Tomodachi Life a lot of people like really got addicted to, and I got kind of bored with after a little bit with it. So yeah, but that comes out later in 2017. They didn't do a date, but I'm guessing I'm. I'm I'm guessing it's going to be like in the middle of the fall. That's just my guess. But they did say just later in 2017. Talked more about Final Emblem Echoes, and they talked about the DLC packs and the season pass. Um, they, they were officially announced for America. Now, we did get official announcements of those. I want to say it was the past day or two for Japan. They talked about it in Japan. Um, in fact, I was just looking earlier today at the, um, the currency cards for the season pass and DLC packs that are releasing in Japan for it. So, but it's good that we got that announced for the U.S. I mean, it's Fire Emblem, and it's, it's highly successful. I mean, of course we were going to get those, but yeah. So now, a lot, a lot, a lot of Kirby stuff, and this is basically, um, I predicted this. I said there was going to be Kirby 25th anniversary stuff. I had a feeling. I just had a hunch, and there was. It's all on the 3DS, though, not the Switch. Granted, they could be saving a big blow-up Switch game for E3, but still, um, I, I don't know. But um, they talked about K Team Kirby Clash Deluxe and Kirby's Blowout Blast. These are two games which are kind of like enhanced enhanced versions of the side games that were in uh, Kirby Planet Robot. Now, ever since Kirby Planet Robot came out, I always thought that they would end up doing something like this because they did it with the two side games that were in Kirby Triple Deluxe. They made eShop exclusive versions of those side games that were enhanced. So, yeah. There's two of them, Team Kirby Clash Deluxe. Uh, it come, it's coming to the E3 shop, 3DS eShop today, and it's free to start. It's free to start, so um, pretty much um, it's going to be like Pokemon Shuffle and those type of games where you know you can play them on your own without having to pay. But if you want to get some extra stuff or pay for or, or play for longer at longer periods at a time, you know you pay for it. But that is today, so go download that today. I'm going to be downloading that today. Cannot wait. Uh, Kirby's Blowout Blast is an enhanced version of like the uh, 3D style Kirby game that they had in Planet Ro Robot, and it's uh, not coming until this summer. And it's also exclusive on the eShop. They didn't say whether it was going to be free to start or whatever, but they said it's coming out this summer. And they announced a new multiplayer. Uh, whoop, my screen kind of messed up. Um, let me see. A new multiplayer action Kirby game for 3DS it comes out later this year. They didn't show it. They just talked about. It. There wasn't even a title or a logo. They just said new multiplayer action game. In the Kirby series for 3DS later this year, so that's exciting. If it's if it's anything like Return to Dreamland, because Return to Dreamland was amazing, chaotic four-player co-op, that'll be awesome, especially on the 3DS. That'll be awesome. Bye Bye Box Boy finally got announced for the U.S. Uh, comes out today, today, which is amazing. Um, you can also download all three game uh, a demo of all three games. That's also available today. So if you never tried any of the Box Boy games, go download the demo, try them out. They're amazing games, really underappreciated. It's made by HAL, HAL Laboratory, same people who make Kirby, same people who make or help develop Smash Brothers, you know. Um, it does have Amiibo support. Um, there is an Amiibo of QB in Japan. They haven't, they didn't talk about that. So I'm hoping that gets brought over. I'm hoping, uh, crossing my fingers, but if it doesn't, I can always import it. Uh, speaking of Amiibo, the last thing I talked about as far as like the 3DS stuff, well, they, they kind of finished 3DS stuff here, but they talked about two little bits of amiibo news the three zelda amiibo that were leaked in breath of the wild basically in the breath of the wild's data there was leaks for three amiibos a majora's mask link a twilight princess link and a skyward sword link and there's costumes you can only get or armor pieces i should say you can only get with those amiibo um and i'm not going to spoil which ones they are um some, you guys probably already know but i'm not going to spoil them for you but yeah there's uh outfits that you can only get from those amiibo in Breath of the Wild. You can't find them anywhere else. And they're tied to that data. So everyone expected these amiibo to come out at some point, and they finally just announced them. June 23rd, like I said, it's Majora's Mask Link, Twilight Princess Link, and Skyward Sword Link. They're all coming out June 23rd. They didn't say whether it was going to be a bundle or singular or what, but yeah. The last three Smash amiibo, which is Cloud, Bayonetta, and Corrin, they're also coming out finally July 21st. And they are actually doing two versions of them. And... Bayonetta has the Bayonetta 1 and 2 version, Korn has the male-female version, and then Cloud has the Final Fantasy 7 and the Advent Children version. 
So I don't know why they're making two first of them. I think that's a little bit redundant in my opinion. Um, but you know, I'm still gonna get them. Uh, what pisses me off though is that they're doing the retail exclusive crap again. They they didn't say which retailers, but they said some of the ver some of the variants are gonna be retail exclusive here in the U.S. I don't know how it's gonna be for you guys over in Japan and Europe, but here in the U.S. they're doing retail exclusive crap yet again because that worked out so much the past few times, right? I just hope stores limit them so that you don't have scalpers buying 30 of them at a time and screwing over the line. God. But, yeah, so that's that, that that's cool. A uh, long time coming. Should have had those out, like, last year, but whatever. Um, then they started talking about uh, the Switch stuff. ARMS, they talked about. Um, ARMS looks incredible for everyone, everyone who had said this game is not worth $60. This game has no content, no character, nothing. It looks like a $10 eShop, indie, whatever, shovelware game. It's not. This Direct proved you wrong. And if you still don't believe that, then just don't buy the game and shut up. Shut up. Let us who like the game enjoy it. Stop saying it's not worth $60. It's not worth $60 to you, but in general, it is worth full price. Just facts, based on what they showed. Many different arm types, each with their own abilities. Many different characters. Characters have their own character abilities. You can mix and match them. All the fighters can use all the arms. Some of the arms do different stuff with the uh, with the characters. There was a new character announced uh, called Min Min, who fights actually using ramen in martial arts, and she can her arm can transform into a dragon. <laughs> really strange. Um, there all there are also two v two battle, two v two v two battle modes. So you can pretty much do you know two players against two players in one arena which looks amazing looks chaotic as hell so yeah um and they we got the date on it june 16th so that's right this summer i i, I had said i had said i was thinking june i did say late may early june but still it's it's i, I kind of knew it'd be it'd be june sometime which is fine because the later in june the better because in may we already have a fighting game ultra street fighter 2 so Gives gives us breathing time, so I, I like this schedule a lot. I like it a lot. Um, they also announced some new uh, Joy-Con accessories. Neon yellow Joy-Con and neon yellow strap comes out the same day, July si I mean June June sixteenth, as Arms. They look so good. I don't know if I'm gonna get it just because I mean I have um, a lot of controllers already, but it, it looks so it looks so cool. I, I'm, I'm glad they're finally coming out with new colors. Well, I should say finally, but I mean I'm, I. I I'm glad they're coming out with new colors this soon after the launch of the Switch. It's awesome. Uh, there's also an attachment battery pack for the Joy-Cons that uh, pretty much you can attach them to the back of the Joy-Cons. And they make the battery last longer. I personally, I mean, that's cool, but personally I don't see a point to it because the Joy-Cons last like 10 to 20 hours on their own already fully charged. So, I mean, hey, more accessories, why not? I'm definitely not going to get the battery pack, though. Plus, it looks like it adds, like, a huge thing on the back to the Joy-Cons. It looks a little awkward, so it's like, eh, not for me. But um, they showed off more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Ultra Street Fighter 2. Not really much else to talk about. We already know everything it's about those games. Uh, those come out with the next couple weeks, you know. They announced Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition. I'm not sure if that was announced prior to this Direct, but we all knew Minecraft would come at some point. Comes out in the eShop May 11th, comes out in stores later, does have the Mario mashup pack, whatever. I've never been one for Minecraft just because it has Mario in it does not mean, oh, I gotta get it. You know, just, you know, I'm not buying Minecraft, so not for me. But hey, you know, more, more the merrier. Uh, they did, did announce more Neo Geo titles coming to the eShop, which ones kind of escape my memory, but there's ones in the next following weeks. There's some coming out tomorrow as well, so cool. Uh, Sonic Forces was shown. This I am very hyped for. It looks good. I love Sonic Generations. Um, I love Sonic Unleashed. You know, I like you know, um, I, I, I like some of the 3D Sonic games. Um, I say some of them. I didn't care for Colors, um, and uh, I mean I, I I did like Sonic Boom. wasn't perfect. Uh, Sonic Lost World was awesome. You know, so I mean I'm, they're hit or miss, but this one looks really good. It looks to be a good sequel to Generations, which is cool. And they showed a little snippet of the third character. Because we know Modern Sonic and Classic Sonic are going to be in here. But they showed a little silhouette of the character. And I don't know, maybe, maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. But I, I could have sworn the the, the, the spines, it, it looked like Shadow. I don't know if, if it's Shadow. Oh, I'll be, be fangasming so bad because, oh, man. If, if when they announce if they announce Shadow, I'll be doing backflips because that would be awesome. But uh, they also um, shown off Sonic Mania. I don't really care for Sonic Mania. Just remixed old levels and whatever, you know, have old Genesis game, whatever, you know, I don't, I'm not really my thing, um, Sonic Forces comes out holiday 2017, 
and Sonic Mania comes out this summer. Uh, they also showed off uh, Project Mecharoo. This is a game, it's an eShop game that I saw a little bit about several weeks ago. Nintendo was talking about it in, in Japan, so um, I'm glad it's coming out here. It looks really fun. It's an eShop. Uh, it's an eShop exclusive. comes out this summer. It does have four-player local multiplayer and online multiplayer. It's basically you control a character and you got to flip. you gotta, you got to ground pound these uh, grids and light them up all your own color. Try to get more of the squares your own color and you can find hidden items and stuff and mess with your opponents it just looks like a very fun party game like and, th and that's that's great more stuff like that to the switch is exactly what it needs so yeah uh they announced fate extella is coming to the switch it comes out july 25th i think that was a ps4 game i think it was an exclusive until now now it's coming over to the uh to the switch i don't really know much about it i know it's based on the the fate anime series uh, it looks to be like a warriors type game, so I'm 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 guessing it might have been a fate warriors type of game. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I know I know a friend of mine has it, but again, I don't know too much about it. Um, probably not gonna get it just because if it's a it looks like a warriors type game, and I already have you know Dragon Quest Heroes and Fire Emblem Warriors and stuff. You know, too many of those games it can get a little bit redundant. So I'm I'm fine with the ones I'm gonna get. Um, they showed off more Disgaea Five Complete. There's a demo coming soon. Comes out May 23rd. We already know that. Uh, Puyo Puyo Touch was also shown, which nothing new. We already it's already out in Japan, coming out in like two weeks here. We know about it, but there is demo launching today, so I'm gonna um, get that demo. I already had a Japanese demo, but now I'm gonna have the English demo, which is cool, so I can actually read what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, they announced this is this is a weird one. They announced Monopoly is coming to the Switch, and it's a new version of Monopoly. Um, now Monopoly's been on a like Monopoly was on the Wii and PS3 and all that and stuff, you know, and it's always been kind of you know. Same old Monopoly, but this actually looks kind of cool. Um, you can, there's custom rules you can do. There's new content for the Switch. It does utilize HD Rumble that you can actually feel the dice rolling and stuff. Um, and you can play it completely in uh, tabletop mode, which looks cool. So it launches this fall. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it, really. I mean, it, it is just Monopoly, but it does look cool what it's doing for the Switch. Um, depends on price. Depends on price or a sale, maybe. But um, they showed Rayman Legends Definitive Edition. This is something that we knew was coming, but we haven't heard anything about it since... January back when they did the whole presentation and stuff, but there will be exclusive switch modes for it and it does all they said was 2017 it launches so nothing new really there um, uh, Cinemora EX announced for switch. It's a side-scrolling shooter. It launched this summer Battle Chasers Night War coming to switch as a turn-based RPG. It is timed exclusive for switch in late summer These two games are kind of cool. They're both being put out by THQ Nordic who I believe is the same people who do Darksiders um, looks really cool. Uh, Battle Chasers Night War actually has me really interested. Um, and the fact that it's a timed exclusive, um, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, more exclusives the Switch gets, the better. Um, Cinemora EX looks pretty cool too. Um, nice side scrolling, you know, shmup. So if you like those, definitely like that. Now, here's a what the fuck moment for me. <laughs> this is where I was just really like. Payday 2. What? <laughs> Payday 2 is coming to the Switch later this year. Let's back up for a moment. When you think of Nintendo, do you, what games do you think of? Think of Mario. Think of Zelda. Think of Pikmin, Smash Brothers, Mario Kart. You know, things like that. Think of Splatoon, ARMS. Think of Indies. Great in indie content, Shovel Knight, you know, things like that. Think of third parties, think of Sonic, think of Bayonetta, you know. You think of a lot of stuff, you think of some Japanese RPGs. Uh, what do you think of? Payday frickin' 2? No, you don't think of that. This is not going to do well. I played the first Payday when I had it for free on PlayStation Plus on my PS3 like a long time ago. Did not care for it. It's a squad-based heist type of game. Um, not my cup of tea at all. So I didn't even try the, the second game. I'm definitely not. I did not play it on the PS4, or PS3, or whatever. I'm not gonna get it on the Switch. I'm just not. You know, again, like I, I love Nintendo. I do, but I'm not a fanboy to where oh, once something comes over Nintendo, now suddenly it's cool. Like I'm not that kind of person. Payday 2 wasn't interested then. Still not interested. And I'm confused as to why this is coming out because it's gonna do terrible. It's coming out long after it's been out on other systems. And the demographic is not there for this game on the Switch. So, I mean, whatever. I, I don't... <laughs> uh, but the next thing they talked about was Namco Museum coming to the Switch. 
lots of old Namco games. There's challenge modes. It looks really cool. Available this summer. Um, and then they did announce you can buy the Switch Dock standalone out on May 19th. There's going to be limited quantities to select retailers. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm fine with my one Switch Dock. Um, and they talked about an open online tournament for the first Splatoon that's coming. You can win a trip to E3 with it. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Um, and then they finally showed off Splatoon 2. Talked a lot about it. There's a new mode called Salmon Run, which you still do teams of four, but you have to defeat Chum, these like Salmon Chum, to collect Power Eggs. There's also bosses called Steelheads, which are huge, like Salmon Chum, look, look robotic and stuff. Um, one thing I like about it was you can use a lifesaver now. So when you die, you can actually use a lifesaver, and um, someone can revive you instead of having to wait to respawn all the way back to the beginning and find your way back, you know. Um, so that's really cool. Um, there's also special golden eggs, and you got to transfer the eggs to a central spot. And uh, I guess whoever gets the most eggs in their basket wins, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, and they did say there'll be rewards based on how many eggs you get. So there'll be rewards, like, un you know, unlockable content and stuff like that. They didn't say what, but yeah. Um, there's also, going back to Amiibo, new Splatoon 2 Amiibo. There's three new figures. There's going to be a new Inkling Girl, new Inkling Boy, and a new Squid. The Squid was like a purple one. looks really cool. I don't remember the colors of the Inkling Girl or Boy, but they're not the same designs as the previous Amiibo. They are brand new. There's a Splatoon 2 Girl and Boy design, so that's really cool. But the Amiibo function now is you can actually scan in the game, and they become an Amiibo uh, friend. And you actually, there were, you can assign custom outfit selections and stuff. So basically, like your loadout, what weapons you use, what outfits you use, all that, you can assign them to them. And then that way, when you want to switch between your different loadouts, you scan that Amiibo. And then you can also snap photos of your Amiibo friends, and you can share them with the Switch album, you know, with the capture button and all that, which is cool. And then you can use the previous Splatoon Amiibo, too. They did say that, which is actually really cool. And then, the last thing I talked about, Splatoon 2 launches July 21st. And the Amiibo come out the same day! Ah! That is so amazing. That is awesome. So, July 21st. So, we got, oh my god, we got Mario Kart this month, Tetris this month as well. Next month, we got... You know, Fire Emblem, you know, we got Street Fighter, um, June is ARMS, July is Splatoon 2, at least, it's a steady stream of games while also not feeling bloated. There's breathing room between each of them. So, and that's awesome. This is, they're doing this so good. And that doesn't even count all the 3DS stuff we're still getting. Anyone who has said the 3DS is dead, is dying, is over, blah, blah. Eat your, own, eat your words, because it's not. There was more 3DS stuff in this Direct than there was Switch stuff, odd as that is, but still, it's it it's so... I, I, I just... This is a really good Direct. This is one of the best Directs, I would say. Um, and I like their style of doing it. This, the, this Direct was a little bit different, because they kind of, like, they cut the bullshit. They didn't focus too long on any games besides ARMS and Splatoon 2. Um, they just kind of briefly talked about each one, announced them, and done and over with. It was great. It was a great way to basically get the content across, and while at the same time not just briefly, briefly mentioning stuff. You know, each thing got like a minute or two, which is cool. You know, the Monster Stories, Yoko Watch 2, Ever Oasis, you know, all that stuff. But it's, I, I really like this way of doing it. Let's just get a lot more news. Um, and like I said, the thing about this is a lot of it was stuff that we were waiting for here in the West that Japan had. So... This is still there's still lots of stuff coming that we don't even know about. Like they're gonna it's gonna be at E3, Mario Odyssey, Xenoblade 2, Fire Emblem Warriors. You know, list goes on and on and on. Plus the unannounced stuff. There's just so much stuff coming, and there's things for everyone. You know, I love that. I I really really like that. Um, they're really keeping the focus on 3DS while still also sharing the spotlight with the Switch. I love that. They're really handling this well. Um, and again, I think the people who keep saying they can't juggle the two systems, this is this is proof that they can. They are they have a steady lineup month after month of the Switch, while at the same time a steady lineup of the, of the 3DS month after month, and from both first party and third party and indies, and it's just it's 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 really good. It's really good. I'm liking the content. The only thing I can say about this direct is I again the um. The payday thing blew my mind. <laughs> so, you know. Um, and there are some other stuff, like uh, like Atlas should have announced some stuff, I believe. Um, I, I wish we would have seen that Radiant Historia remake. I wish we would have seen like things like Atrium Odyssey 5 and things like that. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I wish we would have seen. 
Um, but at the same time, we got a ton of stuff that I didn't think we were going to see. Um, like, honestly, I was losing hope from Utopia. And I didn't think we'd get the third version of Yo-Kai Watch 2. I didn't expect there to be both Everoasis and the Pikmin game shown off with dates. I didn't expect so much more Amiibo content, you know? There's a lot of stuff I just didn't expect in this Direct. And I think that's what it all boils down to. I'm not going to complain about what we didn't get. I'm going to be excited for the things we did get because there's so much good stuff that we got. So definitely, like, it's, it's definitely like a 9.5 Direct. This, this was really good. Really good. I'm really excited. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go download all the new stuff that came out today. And let me know what you guys thought. Did you guys like the Direct? You know, was it good, bad? And what, what games are you most excited for, you know? Uh, leave some comments below. Definitely, we'll, we'll talk about it. You know, I can't wait to see what you guys say. And, as always, I will catch you later.